I've had a very intense but amazing day so far. I hope your day is going well. May you have the courage to face whatever's inside. <laughs> this always reminds me of a silent movie, like, hmm. been a rough I don't want to say it's rough okay I don't it's I don't want to live my life like rough it's been rough 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 it's been intense here's my cold tea it's cool it's not cold it's been intense um, I got triggered a lot like, but it was a good trigger because it forced me into my heart center. Like, like the minute I got triggered, it felt, I mean, it was just like, I was overwhelmed with grief, deep, deep grief. And I just, boom, went straight into my heart. And well, first I kind of ran away, like, fuck this, I'm out. And then I realized that I don't want to be a cancel culture person. I don't. I want to face whatever comes up like a warrior, like a bad ass. Like a woman who I could admire and respect and go, yeah, she's bad. So I faced it all and went deep. And then my dad called. And it was, well, first of all, before that, I had meditated. And I was still just smarting, so I went straight into my heart again. And see, I think that's okay. So when people are faced with really hard things, like grief or someone dying or a natural disaster like a pandemic yeah something like that that we as humans we go first we go to each other and then hopefully we realize that each other cannot support us and sustain us because they're supporting and sustaining themselves and whoever else is leaning on them so I feel like these things force us or Hopefully, as we're given this opportunity to enter the heart, we go into the heart. That's what I did during meditation also. Like, usually it takes me like nine hours to get into my heart. Like, uh, please let me in. And today it was just like, vroom. I went straight in and was given full on a whole lot of comfort. A whole lot of comfort. A whole lot of like... Just a bomb. And, and then after that, my dad called. And so after I went into my heart, just all this miraculous stuff started to happen and beautiful stuff. And I was given so much great information. So welcome to Sue's World. I decided to name my channel Sue's World because in honor, with, with just a, like a nod, just a nod to Wayne's World. Okay. No, it just seemed to, to be, just seemed to be fitting. Like, what, there's nothing missing from that title. Everything that's going on inside of me, one human on this planet, one light out of many, many, many lights. And that's, that way I can just keep it simple, keep it like I can just stay here in my world. I don't have to go out into your world or into the other world, the other world where, where it's insane, insanity. <laughs> insanity. Put a whole bunch of oil in my hair. It seems so dry. 
like all oiled up and it just looks kind of greasy. See, it's like oiled. It's not, I mean, I could have oiled it way more, way more, but I thought I was gonna not wear a hat. I thought it was gonna be on camera and it was gonna look like awesome, but it doesn't. I mean, it looks, it just looks oily. I put, I made oil. I ordered black seeds on the internet, which is black cumin seeds. And I got fenugreek at the co-op. And I used avocado oil. And I put those, I grind up the seeds in the grinder and put them in the oil and set the oil in, this, in a sunny spot for I don't know, like a week or more, 10 days. Something's orange out there. It's a board. And then you have this oil and it's really thick and it's really, it smells really good. It smells like, it smells like an Indian dinner. And then you just put it in your hair and you rub it into your scalp, like massage it. I turn upside down with my head below my heart and just massage the oil in. I also got this other oil on one of the social media platforms and it's amazing. It's all minty and thick. <clears throat> and then I use shea oil, shea, shea butter. Every day I put shea in my hair because my hair is so spassy. Anyway, there's so many great ways to get off of the mainstream product thing where there's chemicals and horrible things in them. No. Nom, 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 nom. I can tell you more if you want to know more. I'm getting ready to make my face wash today. That's all it is, is oils and essential oils. It's beautiful. These pro The products that you make at home or the natural things that you make at home, like once you can switch over there and get off of all the chemicals, like going back to chemicals is like like when you are outside in the neighborhood and someone's <clears throat> doing laundry and the, the it's like the air is full like you can't all you're breathing in is chemicals it's really it's it's just it's not cool i'm gonna wear my hair hat backward and show you my cool feather my flicker feather So yeah, I'm feeling a little, a little tired, a little kind of like, whoa, I just cried my buns off. It's kind of starting to rain again, but I'm not going to let it bring me down today. Nope. I want to stay balanced and I want to stay open to the flow of source through me, source speaking through me. That's, that's why I made this channel to begin with. Well, I made it because source kept telling me to do it. And I was just like, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't have any equipment. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not, my teeth aren't white enough, etc., etc., etc. Kept saying reasons why I didn't want to, but but I I would make these little videos. Just talk. I started talking into this thing. Started making videos, even though I didn't publish them. Just to, I don't know. Just started doing it, just to see what what it would look like. And I decided not to fiddle with my hair, so no more fiddling. Yesterday I said it was Friday, the 20th, but it was really Saturday, the 21st. Now Sunday, today's Sunday, <clears throat> pardon me, Sunday, November 22nd, 2020. I think I just read that this was the day that John F. Kennedy was shot in 1963. I was four months old. Whoops. Damn it. Oh, no one's watching these videos anyways. It's 
felt good. If I had any way to edit, I would I would edit that out. But fuck it. Lately, the past few days, meditation has been going by really, really fast. Are any of you experiencing that, where you sit to meditate and I usually take one little break. I usually sort of go, oh, I need to move, and then it's usually around like six minutes or five minutes to go. Today it was three minutes to go. So it went by like so fast, 17 minutes is gone. But not gone because I was within my heart and I was being nourished and healed and completely loved. So that's why I, well, that's how I feel usually even from just meditating, not before, even before I would go in, into my heart. So you can do, do them both at the same time and then when I was not meditating afterwards I could feel myself going into my heart and I think that's what, oh, there's something in my eye. I think for me that's what living from the heart means is when you are in your heart and being loved beyond the measure of anything that you've ever measured before. And that's what I mean by if everybody were to sit and meditate for 20 minutes every day, first thing, every day, without a break, that we would be well on our way to world peace by the end of one year time. Six months we'd already be just like, wow. Everybody would be in a different, totally different space because everybody be plugging into the source of love inside of them, their, themselves. I never know how to say that. And if everyone's plugging into that source and experiencing the most amazing love that you've ever felt in your life, that you always wanted from your mother and father and um, friends and lovers and husbands and wives and It doesn't look that good this way. <laughs> so, it's been a fantastic day. It's been hard and been good. And I decided that that it, I want to. I'm rein, rein, getting reinvigorated to. To really start to, to practice after meditation throughout the rest of the day, practice staying aligned, in alignment. With deep breathing. I'm looking at the time. Deep breathing. Focusing on what's good. Focusing on everything that you have, it's a gift. Focusing on the abundance that's all around you. Raising your vibration, little by little, increment by increment. Here's a kitty cat. And Using using techniques to do it, you know, like finding out what are, what are good techniques to raise your vibration. They're everywhere. <sighs> jumping jacks, jumping jacks. Uh, I'm doing jumping jacks now. Somebody on the internet said that they are. It's a really great way to raise your vibration because you're grounding on the earth. You're raising your hands to the sky. And you're bringing that down again to the earth. It's like connecting earth and sky, earth and sky, earth and sky. And you being the, the, the conduit of that energy. Boom, boom, bring it up and down, up and down. It's, and it, it's just fun. It, it does raise your vibration. And you do feel like a kid. And you do feel like, I don't know, invigorated. 
So, hey, jumping jacks. Tell me if you're gonna do jumping jacks and how you feel after you do those. If you wanna tell me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for having courage to keep going. Thank you for following the light within to wherever it leads you. And thank you for your diligence on keeping up, keeping up the light within you, keeping it up, keeping it coming up and out, up and out, up and out, sending it out, out into the universe, broadcasting that, broadcasting that light, 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 that the light that you are. It's like you can get up above all of the, that low, that's just like a low vibration. It's a low vibration and it's almost like, like we're, um, we're born to it. Even though we are from a higher vibration, we come in, are born into the low vibration where everybody around us, for the most part, is just living in that low, low vibration. And thankfully, there's lots of really wonderful teachers who teach us how to get up out of it, out of it, get up out of that muck, get up out of it, get out of it, get out of it, get out of it, get out. <laughs> Get out. I want to keep practicing getting out of it, you know? Whenever I get dragged back into it, just, ooh, I'm, I'm in that low vibration. I want to get myself out of it. Because the more you can do that, the more you are a draw the more you are, see, the lower vibration is naturally drawn by the higher vibration. We are all drawn by it. We are, we're drawn by that high, high frequency. The more you can keep your frequency raised, the more you can assist. Stay strong. Believe. See the good, see the beauty, do jumping jacks, meditate every day for 20 minutes in the morning, drink water, listen to yourself. <laughs> Here I am like, I'm gonna give you advice till I'm blue in the face. I've heard lately people saying that right now is a really intense time and it's only going to get more intense. <laughs> so today was a great for me to get to get like to get a sucker punch was super instructive for me because I went through the steps, you know, and came up out on the other side and still I still have love for the beings who triggered me or who, you know, it's a, it's a story and I'm not going to tell it, but you get triggered and peop you lose people sometimes, but you never really had them to begin with, so they're not lost, they're not yours. That's such a hard thing because we want to have our people. We want to keep them. The more you go within, the more you can let go, the more you can be okay with what is. 
exactly what it is. You know, like not a story or a fairy tale or a dream or a wish of who or what you want those people in your life to be. They are their own. They are their own and they are, they are welcome to go into their own hearts and you're welcome to go into your own heart and I'm welcome to go into my own heart. That's the beginning point. Like the ending point draws pushes us into the beginning point. So when the when the when the ending point comes, welcome it. Welcome it. Know that you're not being abandoned. And that you're safe. And that you're beloved.